are with John Saunders, the conductor, musical director and current president of Warringa Concert Brass. John, how are you going? Good, Tim. It's very nice to uh, be part of Brass Band and uh, hopefully one of the more uninteresting interviews. Fingers crossed nothing too controversial comes out here. Now, John, tell us a little bit, how's Warringa going in the preparation to Nationals? Uh, well, if you'd have asked me Monday night two weeks ago, I would have said uh, uh, not good. Now I just say, OK, uh, we have had a concert on uh, Sunday last week and Monday night last week where things sort of started to come together a little bit. So uh, all we need to do is get a full band at rehearsal and um, we'll be up there around the middle. Excellent. And so you'd be happy with sort of a place in the middle as long as you don't come last, that's all right? Or as long as you play good music on the day, play your best, you'll be fairly happy? I think, uh, you know, what you generally aim for is to walk off stage and say that's what we wanted to do. But um, if we can do that, we'd be happy. If we can do that, we might, you know, come somewhere around seventh or eighth. I don't, I don't know at the moment, uh, you know, what the other bands are doing and how they're faring. So, uh, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. Now, I have very fond memories of a Warringah performance from 2008 up at Fab in the entertainment section. I think you guys really rocked it and were probably robbed not to win that. Do you guys do many concerts like that, or a lot more sort of stage, very serious, sitting down concerts? Uh, we mainly do sort of sit down concerts although we did incorporate a bit of our fab program into a concert we did last year for uh, Rotary we had a, a good support happening last year from the Rotary clubs of uh, Warringah area and we put on a concert in one of the local RSL clubs that they organized and um, we yeah included a bit of our choreography in our fab program which went over quite well so that's always uh, a good thing it's it's uh, hard sometimes to incorporate it into performances other than you know Battle of the Bands or Fab or sure. Ern Keller but um, yeah, it worked well and gave us a bit of uh, bit of sort of a few ideas for next time. So, um, in terms of your band, you mentioned getting a full band to rehearsals can be a bit of a struggle. Are you guys permitting in many players, or are you sort of covering most of the bases yourselves? Well, we've actually got a full band. One permit, you know, one of our third corners plays in our second band, so she's permitting to the senior band, and we have one permit tuba player. So basically, right. our own band. I was thinking on the way here who's changed since last year I think we've got one one new cornet since last year um, one new trombone and a whole new tuba section right. so uh, that's how the situation is for us so is that new tuba section for the better is it would you say <laughs> uh, careful let's say, careful <laughs> let's say they're working hard they've never played as a section before until about three weeks ago and uh, two of them are actually uh, very good trombone players that dabble a little bit on tuba yep and there's a shortage of tuba players in our area so they volunteered to go on a tuba and they're doing a good job. Right. So uh, I have uh, a session in a, uh, starting in at uh, 3 o'clock today where I'm about to flog them for a couple of hours before full band rehearsal so hopefully we'll stretch them off at the end. That'll be good. Excellent. And tell us a little bit about the repertoire that you guys are presenting at Nationals. What are you doing for your own choice if you want to disclose that information? Well I'm happy to disclose that I uh, um, have chosen St Magnus which um, is a very hard piece of music, yep. so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. What, what about the uh, march and the hymn? What are you playing for those ones? Uh, Roll Away Bet is our uh, march by Mr Ord Hume. It's uh, a bit of fun, it's got quite a bit in it, and uh, we enjoy playing it. And our hymn tune is one of the uh, lovely Salvation Army arrangements, uh, His Provision, which of course features Bob at the very opening and throughout and uh, it's uh, a lovely piece of music as well so we do enjoy our hymn tunes. Right. Is there anywhere in particular you're thinking you might pick up points or somewhere that's going to be your strength particularly throughout the competition? Uh, definitely um, the looks department. Absolutely. Um, I think from behind I look quite good. Yep. So that's always a few extra points for us. What's the uniform for you guys these days? I mean, there is talk and rumours going about that there will be a fashions on the field um, presentation, a prize for the best dressed in your own choice section. Okay. What do you guys wear on stage? Uh, we just do basically the, the, the black suit, the white shirt, the gold. Gorgeous. Touch of red for the girls. It's, uh, it is more what's underneath that. that, that uh, really or perhaps what isn't breaks, occasionally. It's yeah. the sections, uh, so to speak. <coughs> Uh, but I can't say, I haven't seen any, but I've heard some bit of creaking on the seats when people move, you know, so there's obviously some leather there somewhere. And you don't go with the stripes down the pants like those um, bit fancy South Australian bands do? No, no, we don't do anything that the South Australian bands do, if at all possible. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> Sorry, Kane, and I'm sure you guys will do a fantastic job. Hey, Kerry. And uh, who's their conductor now? Is it Kevin? 
Yeah, I think it is. I think yeah. it is. Sorry, I couldn't come across an interview, you guys. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you at Nationals. Now, John, when can people see the band, aside from Nationals? Do you have any concerts, any tours planned, or a website people should check out? Uh, we have um, Anzac Day performance, the dawn service on Anzac Day at uh, Manly Dam. You're all welcome to come there. That kicks off at about half past five. Great. So we're happy to see any, anyone and everyone from Brass Band down there. Uh, our next performance will be on um, April the 4th out at uh, Retirement Village and Anzac service out there. At the moment we've got uh, nine solid blowers coming to that one so if anyone wants to come along and have a toodle there you're more than welcome. Uh, we can guarantee some good biscuits and uh, tea for that one. And in terms of the structure of Waringa, do you guys just have the one band or do you have a couple of junior bands feeding in? How does that all work out? Yeah, since uh, 19, about 1989 we have had a youth band that uh, has you know, progressed up and down you know, with the fluctuations of kids being available in the area. Uh, we've been in A grade for the last few years and um, to a certain extent have struggled. We've struggled to get a full band there um, and last year we took the, the step of um, deciding to make that a senior C grade band, entered in the senior C grade at the States and played really well and the piece was, was very nicely suited to the band and we had a few adults that came and helped out and uh, that proved to be successful so this year we've entered basically a youth band with, with five or six adults in it into uh, the Senior Sea and uh, they're quite enjoying their piece, The Lake of the Moon which is a good fun bit, bit of a film filmic sort of thing and uh, the kids really enjoy it and uh, it's proven to be a good decision. We've got uh, full band, five, five or six trombones and uh, yeah, it was a good right. move. So. And one final thing, I've heard that the Nationals next year will be across in Perth. Are you guys up for the trip over there or just wait and see how it goes? I think all of us would love to go to Perth. Um, I've got a, a friend over there, Mr Young Husband, and um, would be very happy to come over to his neck of the woods. Of course finance is going to be the issue. If uh, anyone wants to throw a couple of dollars our way we'd be happy to say yes we're definitely there, but at the moment uh, it's a bit up in the air. So uh, we'll see if there's a nice benefactor comes our way shortly. Well, fingers crossed you guys can make it across there for next year and fingers crossed you guys play as well as you possibly can next weekend down in Melbourne. Thanks, Tim. We're certainly uh, hoping to, to give it a shot and uh, we'll know at the end of the day. Uh, it's always good you were talking earlier with Bob about the Ws. We find having the W there is better when they read the points out. We, we have hope right till the end of the list and we're not, we're not smashed right at the start. You start with A and you oh, didn't come anywhere. At least you know, they're going down the list. Well, we still could, you know, so it's always nice to be at the bottom of the list there. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll hope to hopefully do our best and catch up with a few friends. Great. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Tim.